One of the ways that I got through high school, I had an older brother, and my older brother is like three years older than I was. And my brother was the valedictorian of his class. My brother got one A minus the whole time he was in high school. And the day he got, he got it in typing, right? And he get, he's a sophomore, he gets an A minus, and he comes home, and he pulls the drapes, and he's sitting in the dark. When I got home, I thought somebody died, right? So I come into the house, and I said, what happened? <laughs> he said, man, I got an A minus. And I'm going, Phew. like I'm waiting for my first A minus. And I started to notice that this straight A thing was a little bit stressful. Because I'd be eating candy and he's eating Rolaids, right? And I'm thinking, I don't want to be like a straight A student like my brother. That's that, I want to be a straight C student. Because all my initials are C. It's kind of poetic. And, and uh, my dad would pay you for an A. And he'd give you a pretty good pat on the back for a B. C's irritated him, but they didn't get him off the couch. D's and F's are lethal. So the trick was just kind of slide along there and see minus land and, and get out of school any way I could. And so I, 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 I think they didn't have the designation at the time, or I didn't know about it at least, but I think it was pretty ADD. I had a real bouncy brain. And I'd walk into the classroom, and I, you had like two minutes to get my attention, and I could look you right in the eye, and my mind was headed out over the mountain. <laughs> so there was, I had this sense that I, couldn't, that I wasn't very smart and that I couldn't hold it together. And so I was always trying to figure out the short way to do things. And I remember one day when I was a freshman in high school, I had a, what seemed like a spiritual experience. I, I, was, I was messing around in my brother's storage closet. And he, we lived in the upstairs part of the house. And he had the big closet with the big storage room. And I had the crappy little room over to the other side. My brother was born 50 pounds heavier than I was. And he's 50 pounds heavier today. And he could squash me like a bug. And there was no way I was getting the good room until he went to college. But I'm rooting around in his closet because he's been cheating me out of like baseball cards and things like all my life. He always knew the good baseball players and I didn't know one from the other. So he would trade me like a Mickey Mantle rookie card for five Marv throne berries or something and I would do it. So I'm in there kind of trying to get my stuff back and it's dark and the closet is just an old, it's an old closet. The walls are unfinished and the, if you want light you have to reach up and screw the light bulb in. And I'm walking around in there and I reach, you know, I'm hitting my shins on his stuff so I, I screw the light bulb in. And the light came on, and I swear I hear angels singing. Because in the back of my brother's closet is like every assignment he ever did, and they're labeled. He's got his freshman year, his sophomore year, his junior year, book reports, all these, you know. I'm going, my freshman year, my sophomore year, my junior year. I thought I heard the voice of God say, you have read your last book. Because now when I had a book report I needed to do, I would just sneak into my brother's room when he wasn't there, and I'd take out that book report. I didn't want an A, I wanted a C, so I would misspell some words and come to some bad conclusions. And, and I could do a book report in about the time it took to do a TV commercial, and I was kind of rocketing toward graduation and total illiteracy.